Today I'm here to talk to you about my AP research project on senior student athletes' mental health during the COVID-19 pandemic. My research question is, what were the mental health effects among current senior student athletes in Randolph County, North Carolina during the COVID-19 pandemic? So first, I'd like to talk to you about how I generally arrived at this subject of the mental health of high school student athletes' mental health. Last year in AP seminar, we did a large array of projects using stimulus packet material. Stimu this stimulus packet material ranged anywhere from green energy solutions to indigenous Native American languages. However, the stimulus material that piqued my interest and had the biggest impact on me was empowering women through sport and the meaning of Serena Williams. These sources led me to write my paper on the debate over equal pay for male and female professional athletes. This specific project made it clear to me that I wanted to do something sports related for AP research this year. Another reason why I chose this topic is because of my personal experiences with sports. My passion and love for sports have brought so much joy and happiness to my life, but it is also what made life during the pandemic so miserable. The pandemic was bad for everyone, but it was especially bad for athletes. Student athletes were, were expected to play sports, attend Google Meets, turn in assignments, and keep their grades up all while trying, not, trying their best to not catch a virus and keep their mental health in order. I'm so passionate about this research because I saw so many of my friends suffer physically and emotionally during the pandemic. The mental health of student athletes during the pandemic is something that needs to be talked about. In conclusion, the reason why I chose what were the mental health effects on current senior student athletes in Randolph County, North Carolina during the COVID-19 pandemic is my research question is because of two reasons. The first reason being my AP, research, AP seminar project on the debate over equal pay for male and female professional athletes. This inspired me to do something sports related for my AP research project this year. The second reason being my personal experiences with sports during COVID-19. I'm very passionate about sports and bringing attention to issues that have personally affected me and some of my closest friends. Before getting into the data of my research, it is important to understand the currently established theories surrounding this topic. Three basic schools of thought exist concerning the mental health of student athletes during COVID-19 pandemic. The first and most popular consensus correlates COVID-19 pandemic to negative mental health effects among students and reveals that the pandemic has done more harm than good on student athletes. The second and less popular consensus among scientists and researchers correlates the COVID-19 pandemic to positive mental health effects among students and reveals that the pandemic has been good for, for the mental health of student athletes. The third and final consensus is that the COVID-19 had little to no effect on high school student athletes at all. For example, in a study by the International Journal of Environmental Research and Public Health on high school student athletes, two participants reported no change in their mental health, and one reported that the cancellation of school felt like a more longer extended week. However, I felt that something was missing. There wasn't enough out there about the students' personal experiences. So. In order to gauge the overall mental health of senior student athletes in Randolph County during the COVID-19 pandemic, the mental uh, mixed method design is added. Next, I'd like to talk to you about how I crafted and conducted my research. Based on previous studies, surveys are an efficient way to gather quantitative data for a large group of people. For example, a survey is included in a scholarly article written by Nicholas Grubick titled, competing against COVID-19. How have we forgotten about student athletes' mental health? The survey found that about 70% of participants reported mild to severe anxiety and depression symptoms. Based on this, we can see that surveys are great for getting numerical data for a large group of people. To gather qualitative data, interviews were conducted over Zoom calls. The first interviews were with two current senior student athletes in Randolph County schools and the second interview involved a school psychologist employed by the Randolph County School System. Interviews are good because they help you explain, better understand, and explore research subjects' opinions, behavior, and experiences. It is crucial to obtain a variety of data from different perspectives. Therefore, the mixed method design in particular is perfect. It implements both surveys and interviews to gather quantitative and qualitative data. It is useful in understanding the contradictions between quantitative results and qualitative findings. It reflects participants' point of view and gives a voice to study participants while ensuring that the findings are grounded in their personal experiences. 
This design is appropriate for answering research questions that neither quantitative nor qualitative methods could answer. However, there are limitations. The biggest limitation is that this method is time consuming and complex to carry out because different data is being collected from varying perspectives. Another limitation is that it can be difficult to get data during COVID-19 due to the lockdowns in Randolph County Schools. Another limitation is that participants may not answer truthfully on the survey or during the interviews. If this happens, my data will become skewed. Lastly, an unexpected limitation was encountered at the beginning of the data collection process. Randolph County Schools did not allow the words mental health to be used in the survey that was going to be sent out to students. A different choice of words were required in order to send out the survey to students in Randolph County. Emotional well-being are the words that were used in replacement of mental health on the survey. This small obstacle is not detrimental in the data collection process, but it is worth noting. The goal of this research project is to determine the mental health effects that senior student athletes experience during the COVID-19 pandemic. This will be done by analyzing quantitative data collected through surveys and qualitative data collected through interviews. While prior studies have aimed to determine the overall effects of the pandemic, none have looked at the topic by examining high schoolers attending school in a rural place such as Randolph County, North Carolina. Next, I'd like to talk to you about the results of my research. 24 total senior student athletes completed the survey and all attended Southwestern Randolph High School. 12 of the study participants were male, 11 were female, and one person wished not to include their gender within the study. The study participants engaged in a wide variety of sports, ranging from the more popular options such as baseball, soccer, and football, all the way to the less popular options such as cheerleading, golf, and shooting team. The next grouping of questions on the survey deals with the mental health of these senior student athletes during the pandemic. For the question, how would you rate your overall mood during the pandemic? 29.2% of students revealed that they felt normal during the pandemic. 16.7% of students revealed that their mental health was actually better during the pandemic than it was before. This was the most important question on the survey in regards to the original research question. The results from this specific question in the survey are rather surprising because they do not line up with the original hypothesis made before this research began, which stated that current senior student athletes would reveal that they face significantly more negative mental health effects during the COVID-19 pandemic. However, this data collection proved this hypothesis to be inaccurate. The next questions are, how did you feel about your seasons being shortened or canceled? And how did you feel about socially distanced practices and games with your teammates? These questions relate to the student athletes' personal experiences with sports during the COVID-19 pandemic. 50% of students revealed that they were either disappointed about their seasons being shortened or canceled. And 67% of students revealed that they were either disappointed or very unhappy with their practices being socially distanced during the COVID-19 pandemic. These numbers were expected because it can be safely assumed that nobody wants their sports to be canceled or socially distanced. The final question in the survey was, now that restrictions on sports have been lifted, how would you rate your overall mood now? This question is significant because it shows the correlation between sports and improved mental health among student athletes. 54.2% of students surveyed that they are happy now that restrictions on sports have been lifted. 33.3% of students revealed that they feel normal now that restrictions on sports have been lifted. And one student chose the other option for this particular question. This student, a male football player at Southwestern Randolph High School, responded to the question with the following. I'm happy for those being able to enjoy it now, but sad that I did not get to. This response shows a negative effect stemming from the COVID-19 pandemic that was not considered before. However, quantitative data is only half of the data being collected in mixed method research. It is possible to gather both student experiences and professional insight through the use of interviews. These interviews reflect participants' point of view and gives a voice to study participants while ensuring that the findings are grounded in their personal experiences. The first interviews were conducted with two male athletes. The first participant was a wrestler at Southwestern Randolph High School. The second participant was a cross-country and basketball player at Eastern Randolph High School. Three questions were given to each participant. Questions regarding their experiences with sports during the COVID-19 pandemic, their mental health, and how they are feeling now that things are back to normal. 
Through these interviews, it was revealed that students had negative experiences with their sports during the COVID-19 pandemic. The wrestler stated, it was heavily affected. We only had a month and a half, and when it came to big tournaments, there was no double elimination. It was all single elimination, and that is a big change for a state tournament. The cross country and basketball players stated, last year we were required to wear masks while we played the whole entire basketball season. We were also limited on how many games we could play. Answers from the students for this question were not surprising. However, the next question's results were surprising. The second question dealt with the student athletes and their mental health while playing sports during the pandemic. The wrestler said that he wasn't affected other than his grades dropping. The cross country and basketball player said that he missed normalcy at times but wasn't heavily affected. These responses were unexpected. The original hypothesis was that the student athlete's mental health would be negatively affected. However, the student responses indicated that mental health was affected little to none. And those are the interviews with the students. Probably kind of hard to read. The next and final interview was conducted with a school psych psychologist employed by the Randolph County School System. They were given questions relating to the mental health of high school athletes, their personal experiences, and their general consensus. They stated, specifically in regards to athletes who are seniors during this school year, I feel like the biggest stress was just the unexpected and unprecedented shift in their day-to-day -day life. Myself and my colleagues have heard several student athletes indicate that they did not know what to do with themselves, they had too much time on their hands, and that they missed their friends and coaches. However, some athletes are very well-rounded and their lives involve a myriad of activities. Those students seem to fare much better from what we have noticed. Certain students might have a more difficult time spending such excess time at home, and this added to their stress and sadness levels. So, current senior student athletes seem to struggle the most due to the change of pace in their day-to-day -day lives. However, some student athletes' mental health was not as heavily affected due to having multiple activities to participate in other than sports. These students had an easier time navigating through the pandemic compared to those students who described sports as all they had. The next question asked the psychologists if they had any face-to-face -face discussions with students about their emotional well-being during the pandemic. They stated that, a few highly skilled athletes who were hoping for college scholarship money have indicated that this may now be unlikely. This weighs heavily on their minds and affects their long-term goals and plans. I think the stress of missing or shortening sports seasons was very real for many athletes during that time, but the long-term impact is only evident in the lives of those few athletes. So, senior student athletes planning on continuing their athletics in college had the hardest time mentally during COVID-19, according to the psychologists. The psychologist's conclusion was that we can see that the impact of COVID-19 on athletes' emotional well-being has been evident, but at least in our school system, not to a significant degree. There has been no indication of severe anxiety or depression with any of our athletes, with any of our athletes as far as we know. So there is no clear indication of negative effects among majority of senior student athletes in Randolph County schools. And there is an interview with the psychologist. Prior studies have looked at college students across the entire country or in large urban areas. None have seemed to look at the topic by examining high schoolers attending school in a semi-rural area such as Randolph County, North Carolina. High school students, but more specific group of high school students needed to be analyzed. So, this research was done on current high school seniors that also play a sport. Ultimately, through the survey, current senior student athletes in Randolph County, North Carolina, were found to have a near even split between positive and negative mental health effects as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic. This conclusion essentially means that the COVID-19 pandemic was not as harsh on student athletes' mental health as originally thought. Noted in the interview with the psychologist, a certain group of students' mental health did take a significant toll during the COVID-19 pandemic. This group is senior student athletes who were planning on continuing to play sports at the college level. So, while certain students did experience negative mental health effects as a result of the pandemic, there is no clear indication of these effects among the majority of senior student athletes in Randolph County schools. 
My findings indicate that student athletes at the high school level had a split between negative mental health effects and no mental health effects at all. Most researchers and scholars have concluded that the COVID-19 pandemic led to student athletes' mental health being negatively affected. While my findings did show that many students had negative mental health effects, I also found that many students did not have any mental health effects at all. However, the most shocking results I found was that some students said their mental health actually improved during the pandemic, according to their survey responses. This is surprising and would certainly change the public's perception on what students, specifically high school student athletes, went through during the pandemic in regards to their mental health. So, future research could focus on student athletes at the college level and compare and contrast the differences. College athletes have more access to resources such as counseling and tutors than high school athletes. So it would be interesting to see how the two groups overall mental health compared to one another. Good job. Good job. Okay, Braxton. How did the choices you made when designing or implementing your research method impact your research process? Here you don't. I sure can. How did the choices you made when designing or implementing your research method impact your research process? So that, it made my research process a little longer and more complex than I had wished because I decided early on to do the mixed method. Mm -hmm. Well, at first I was going to do surveys, and then I was worried about not getting enough data. Mm -hmm. So then I decided to do the mixed method with interviews and surveys, and I'm glad I did because I ended up not getting enough from the surveys. So. Mm -hmm. How does your new understanding address the gap in the scholarly conversation? So the, the gap was that all the scholarly articles and research that I had done, I'd seen that there wasn't a lot in rural areas on high schoolers. It was mainly college athletes or young children in large urban areas or just other places outside of the U.S. altogether. So it addressed the gap of high schoolers, specifically seniors in a rural area. And how did you handle the uncertainty of the research process? Initially, I didn't handle the uncertainty good at all because <laughs> I was kind of freaking out because I didn't get as much survey data. But thanks to Ms. Saunders, I kind of she can she helped me out and said that this these type of things happen in research. So I didn't handle it well initially, but when I realized that this is just one of those things that happen, I kind of calmed down and realized that this is just another limitation. So. All right.